So the Pinball Wizard thing, which came, it was the last song that I wrote for Tommy, actually came as a kind of a real breath of fresh air because it came kind of fairly from left field too because I wrote it as a kind of a catch for, for uh, Nick Cohen, who was then a young writer uh, and critic, rock music critic, who was a Pinball fan. I said to him, what do you think? You know, and he said, yeah, it's OK, it's good, it's good, it's good. And Kit said, come on, Nick, are we going to get a fucking good review or not? You know, and, and I could see there was something wrong, and I, t I took him out and I said, Nick, what's the matter with it? What's the matter with it? It's just a bit boring, you know, it's a bit boring, you know, this spiritual stuff. And I said, well, actually, I've just had this idea recently, and I, I, it sounds a bit crazy, but, you know, if they, maybe I could put some colour in it if Tommy was not only kind of deaf, dumb and blind and, you know, a, a, you know, a, abused and subjected to, you know, to, 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 to drug therapy and various other things, but also he just happened to play pinball and, and happened to become a pinball champion. What do you think of that? And Nick said, 